No, this is not. This is one HP, guys. No, 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 no. One HP, one HP. Yo, what is up, guys? Surgical Goblin here, and welcome to this new episode. As you guys can hear, my voice is a little bit better. Still not the best, but at least it's a little bit better. I'm feeling better as well, so I'm happy. I hope you guys are doing good. But right now, I'm going to play in a grand challenge. But as you guys can see, I already have nine uh, wins, but I also have two losses. So one loss and I'm out. So I'll try to clutch it. I'll try to get 12 wins. But with this Hawk Rider deck, but it also is the Mega Knight. So you could uh, see it as the the old Pekka Hawk Rider deck, but it has Fireball instead of Lightning in that one. And it has Inferno Dragon instead of um, Electro Wizard in that one. So it's basically the same. It has the same cards. It also has Ice Golem, Goblins, Bats. Um, the Hawk Rider has a win condition. And Zap, some used to, uh, like you could put the lock, but I think Fireball Zap has a good synergy to kill like Musketeers, etc. So I would say let's hop into a battle. Also why I changed this card is because Mega Knight is quite good right now. You see a lot of uh, lock page, you see a lot of Hawk Rider decks, etc. So Mega Knight can get a lot of value. And why I switch Inferno Dragon for Electro Wizard? Because Inferno Dragon is like um, a tank killer. And Pekka used to do that in the old deck. But right now you need another uh, tank killer. And it also has a good synergy. Like let's say your opponent has Zap. And they use their Zap on the Inferno Dragon to reset it. Then you can punish with bats, goblins, whatever. So in my opinion it's a really solid deck. Let's just begin. Hopefully we are able to get the 12 wins. That would be really nice. If not, no problem. I can just start a new one. Do the chest opening and start a new one. I'll do around... Um, like three battles hopefully three uh maybe more depends if i lose like for example right away i hope not of course so he started with the ice golem i will start off with my own ice golem in the back and let's see if he drops anything he goes with his goblin gang i will zap the tower and those goblins why i zap those because they are behind um i need to fireball right here because i don't want him to get a huge lx advantage why i zap those because they were behind the ice golem and as you guys can see here the ice column is tanking. Of course, the, um, the tower would have probably taken them out anyways. But let's drop goblins. Let's drop bats to the side. And it looks like this guy has three musketeers. He zapped the goblins. So the bats were able to distract a little bit, not, but not too much. So we took a lot of damage. But let's go with the ice golem. Um, I, will, I will zap over here just to make sure we actually kill the goblin gang. And then I want to punish because I think he will uh, pump up again. Let's send in Hawk Rider. Looks like he doesn't pump up yet. Maybe he will go with three Musketeers. No, looks like he will drop his Ice Golem cycle to minions, I think. Uh, he actually does drop three Musketeers. I will go with Goblins in this side. And this is a moment where the Mega Knight can get a lot of value. As you guys can see, he has two Musketeers over there. I will go with my Mega Knight on top of them. And after that, after like the spawn damage, it's actually able to one-shot them. Uh, I drop bats in the middle to distract the Musketeer on the left side. But also to uh, kill his minions. The Mega Knight is still there. He will drop his better ram well played by him. Because the Mega Knight will actually uh, not be able to jump on it. But I think now it will, wow, he actually missed his zap and look at the Mega Knight. This will be a really good counter push, guys. We will have our zap ready for his Goblin Gang. There you go, there's his Goblin Gang. Let's zap over here. And I think this might be Tower. Let's see if he's able to cycle to minions, but he should not have that much Elixir, guys. He spent a lot of Elixir. The Inferno Dragon is locked on. The Mega Knight is there. I will go again, like, pressure on the other side. He dropped his minions, but he should not have a lot of Elixir. Of course, it's double Elixir right now, but I dropped my Ice Golem with Goblins on the right side just to be able to... Um, let that tank. And it actually took down the tower to 91 HP. Well, I was about to say maybe the better ram will connect. But it didn't end up connecting to the tower. Which is good for us, of course. Let's go with the Hawk Rider. I'll have my Fireball ready in case he goes with two Musketeers. Looks like he's going with the Goblin Gang. I will zap that over here. Uh, and so far, this battle is going really well. We will drop the Ice Golem over here. I will drop my Goblins. Knowing that he has zapped. Goblins don't die to zap. So let's go with bats as well. Let's see if he drops something. But of course we have the Mega Knight there. We have the um, Inferno Dragon there. I will send in the Hawk Rider. Again I will zap the Goblin Gang. And wow I think this might be 3 crown. Inferno Dragon is locked on. I will go with Fireball knowing he has minions. And this looks like a 3 crown. There you go. The Inferno Dragon heated up. So let's give him the good game. Well played. And a thumbs up. And that's the first game. 10-2 right now. So two more battles to clutch it. To get 12 wins. Hopefully we are. Because as you guys can see. We had really solid defense. Really solid offense as well. So 10-2 right now. Again this is a deck. But let's let's just start with another match. Hopefully we are able to get the 12 win guys. That would be really nice. So let's see. Let's give him the thumbs up. And a good luck. 
and with this starting hand i probably just want to uh wait i don't want to like commit many elixir maybe he has his omega knight or something if he pumps up or something we could punish of course uh, or fireball it, it depends um on the situation but let's see looks like he doesn't drop anything i think i will go with ice golem in the back um which is a passive move like just two elixir but of course it it could like there you go there's his um Mega Minion. I'll go with the Hawk Rider on the right side. Let's see if he drops something. He has a mini Pekka, which probably tells me that he has... Um, oh, wow, yes. I think this is Golem. This might be Golem. Hopefully, he doesn't have a Zap. The mini Pekka actually still got a hit. Wow, I didn't expect it to get a hit. But I think this, this guy is using Golem. I'll Zap the Mega Minion over here. And let's see if he has something for my Inferno Dragon. Looks like he will drop his bandit uh, to kite it, but the Inferno Dragon will turn around and will actually lock on tower and it's, it's slowly heating up. And he used his zap and this is a good moment where we can go offensive because he used his zap. We are able to go with the Ice Golem, Hawk Rider, he dropped a Night Witch but the bats will be able to take it out. Let's actually zap over here because one bat, uh, the tower and the Night Witch were there. So I think this is a good zap, also allowed the Hawk Rider to uh, get one more hit. But he is pumping up. He, he has definitely a lot of elixir more than us. Because he still has the pump over there in the middle. He just put down a new one. And when he put down a new one. We're at uh, 6 elixir I believe. So he's for sure up a lot of elixir. But I think if he drops this golem right now. We are still able to. Um, yeah there you go. There's his golem. We are still able to, to punish this quite nice. Of course he has zap. But there you go. He uses mini P.E.K.K.A. I don't think he has much elixir. Maybe now he has zap. Yeah there you go. Now he has zap. And wow, this is a really hard situation. He has so much more elixir than us. Um, I think that we need to take the mini Pekka, but I also don't want to because that would just hurt too much. So I will try to defend this as, as good as possible. He did ju just use his zap. So I will go with an ice golem over here. Uh, and Inferno Dragon is actually doing a good job at countering the golem, but the support units are the problem right now. And I think he will take down the tower, but we defended that quite nice because he spent so much elixir. We didn't spend that much elixir and we still defended like he doesn't have a three ground push or anything. So we're still uh, in a quite good situation in my opinion. Let's go with the Hawk Rider over here. And it's really important to bait his Zep because, um, because he didn't have Zep. We're able to defend that push quite nice. Otherwise, he would definitely uh, gotten a really strong push over there. Okay, let's go with a Mega Knight this time. Let's go with Ice Golem over here. Um... Let's fireball all of this. Try to fireball all of this. Let's go with goblins. Oh, wow, this is actually getting quite close. But uh, we are able to defend this quite nice so far. Let's go with Ice Golem, hopefully in time. Oh, wow, this is so close, guys. The bats are there. The tower should be able to kill the bandit. And there you go. Wow, this is so close, guys. I think it will go with another golem. Uh, if he does, we need to punish. We really need to punish. I know that he has Zap. Let's go with Inferno Dragon from the back. Uh, there you go. There is his, his golem. I want to go with Mega Knight and Hawk Rider. I think we need to go with Goblins. Um, wow, well, I think this is a good game. Let's see. Wow, well, we have the Goblins there, but I think this is a good game. Maybe he has Lightning, I think. Um, wow, this is so close, guys. This is so close. Hopefully, he doesn't have Lightning. Otherwise, he would have finished it already, I assume. Go with Hawk Rider, let go with Goblin, Zap ready for his mini pack. There you go, let's Zap. We were able to Zap it, one more hit. Not in fireball range yet. Oh my god, this is so close, guys. We need to cycle to, we need to cycle to Zap. I will go with fireball. I will have my Goblins. No, this is not, this is one HP, guys. No, 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 one HP, one HP, and we have 75. Oh my god, this is so close, guys. One more card for fireball, one more card for fireball. He missed, he Zap it. I don't think he has enough. Well, I think we won this, guys. The Bennett is there. What? No. What? We, we took it at the same time. What? This is crazy. Kill the mini pack. Wow, this is so intense, guys. I don't know if I'm commentating it right, but this is absolutely insane. Oh, my God. He goes with a golem. Let's try to counter this and make a big counter push with... Wow, this is totally insane. <laughs> wow, my, my heart is... I don't know what's going on, guys. Hopefully, you guys are still... Um... Oh, my God. Let's try to drop Ice Golem. Let's try to go with um, go, uh, um, Bats over there because he needed to Zap. Let's Zap his Mega Minion. Uh, let's see, let's see. Wow, this is, this is too intense, guys. Uh, I think he got us because the Bennett is locked on. But wow, this is too intense. This is too insane. 
Yeah, he got us. Wow, that was insane. I thought that we got it. Let's give him the good game. Well played. And the thumbs up for sure. Wow, that was so close. He had a really good matchup because we weren't able to uh, counter his um, his pushes at as good as possible. Because as you guys can see over here, he had a collector. But then if we went uh, for the counter push, he had a mini P.E.K.K.A. He had a Night Witch as a damage dealer. A Mega Minion. And then he had the Zap for uh, our pets. And Infernal Dragon, of course, sometimes we were able to like take advantage of that. But because he had such a big Elixir advantage, we weren't able to defend his pushes. Still, we were able to defend it quite nice, in my opinion. And wow, that was so crazy. I don't know if you guys have seen that often. To me, it didn't happen often where we uh, take both towers at the same time. Uh, I've been recording for 10 minutes right now. So maybe I would just let this be the episode. Only I only did two um, battles. But that one was crazy long. I think that was like 5 minutes long. And then the, the chest opening. Sorry if this is a really short one. Uh, also sorry if I didn't show much of the deck. But wow this is uh, crazy. Uh, I think I would just do the chest opening. And then end the episode. Because usually my episodes are around 10 minutes. I could start a new grand challenge. But then the opponent wouldn't be as good. So next, uh, next video I will try to have 9 wins. And not that many losses. I had already 2 losses. Yesterday I, I tried to recording a video. But my voice was too bad right now it's okay like it's not the best but it's okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode let's get in the chest opening and uh, wow that was totally insane uh we got some gold skeletons heal spell giant barbarians better ram let's see flying machine the mega minion wow mega minion is getting really close to max musketeer which is nice royal giant and now the epics let's see and seven clone spells not too good not too bad a few uh good cards like the mega minion flying machine uh, the rest were really good of course all the comments i have max and then the clone spell which isn't as good but it's still quite a nice episode in my opinion i really hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys uh could smack that like button if you did enjoy it i hope you guys are subscribing to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and i hope to see you in one of my next videos bye guys